Hey everybody, how you doing today? And we're doing another project in our rental property. Thanks for coming to Disturbing Creations DIY. Hey everybody, welcome back to Disturbing Creation Construction. And on this channel, we're not only gonna show you how to do upgrades on construction, building a house, building sheds, but we're also gonna do recycling to save you money. So let's get right into it. You ever gone into your shower and you try to turn it off and it just keeps dripping and dripping you use that little diverter thing in the middle, but now it's dripping out of the shower. Well, I'm gonna show you what one looks like. Then I'm gonna show you how to change that piece in the wall to save you money. Now let's get some work done. So if we turn it all the way off, it, it drips from the top. And if we turn it all the way on, it's dripping from the bottom. So we gotta kind of like get it right in the middle each time so it doesn't drip from the top or the bottom. And this is just a hassle. You're wasting water, you're wasting time. You gotta hear this noise all the time. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the diverter that connects all three of these pieces through the wall out and replace it because the valve in here is broken. Now, on the back of the wall here, there's no access panel. So I am going to measure how high that is on the other side and where it is over here. And then we're gonna use this variable saw or multi-purpose saw to go ahead and cut a square out of here so we can see what we're working with. how to put a new diverter in. Oh, and there's blooper number two. All right, so now we cut the pilot hole, the access door out. You can kind of see where we're going. Uh, you can see some of the plumbing that's in here already that goes up to uh, maybe this is the cold side. And then you have the middle piece where it goes up to the shower and down to uh, the, the piece that sticks out, that little metal piece right here, this little piece. Uh, so what we got to do is this diverter right here, we got to cut some more out. So I'm going to go uh, up about two more inches here, three more inches, two, three more inches here. We're going to cut all the way across to about here. And we're going to widen this hole up so we can get some work done. So I didn't want to make the hole that big because if the diverter was right here, then we could just make an access panel here. If we have to go back, then you have to make the access panel bigger. So let's go ahead and cut this up two inches, cut all the way across to here, down, make this hole a little bigger, and then see what we're actually working with. We need to take this foam tight off. We need to, to break all this out to be able to get this as well. And uh, thank God I put sharp bikes in here so we can pop them off, unscrew, and put them into the next diverter piece. So let's get a little work done. All right, now we've cut the hole a little bigger. Uh, you can actually see the drain pipe here. You can see the full diverter under that piece of wood I had to cut out right there to get to it. And um, we're gonna start disconnecting all this. So we have the, uh, the to fill up the tub, and to go to the shower and thank God everything is shark bite in so that we can um, disconnect it. So I'm gonna start tearing out this foam. The foam is really fun to tear out, not really. Uh, it's gonna get a little tedious, these, these big ones. You can probably pull out by hand. Um, then you gotta to start scraping some of this around. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and take out as much of this as I can by hand. I'm gonna get a little screwdriver or something and start picking away at all of this. Once I clean all this up, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like underneath. And then I'm gonna show you how to take this out so we can change it for the new one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start tearing this diverter apart. And I took one off. So I just got a regular Phillips 
And these are Phillips heads in here. The long screws are pretty long. So just pull that out and then pull this up. Once you pull that up, you can pull these nice little rings off. Okay, now we're ready to take this piece off. So this is the old one, so I don't care if I scratch it up, so I'm just gonna use a pair of uh, adjustable channel locks. If you're putting it on, I would wrap a cloth around it before you put this on so you don't scratch it. But we're just gonna grab it and turn it counterclockwise. Turn this. And now all this is free. So we're gonna disconnect the other side and we can pull this out this way. So down here, we're only taking this middle piece out, which is the diverter piece, which is this. And you see how it is basically the same thing, it's in there. So I do have some shark bites where I put this in the first time. So we can disconnect here, shark bite, shark bite, and shark bite, pull the whole unit out. Or we can unscrew these nuts, this nut here, this shark bite to the top and this nut and pull the unit out. I'm gonna take all three shark bites out and pull it out. So I found it was easier to just take these nuts off. They're all the same connection nut here. And it'll just spin with the shark bite. And then once I get it disconnected, I can get all these, take all this apart. All right, so now you can see I got it out. I, I cut all this out. Um, this is the old diverter, so it looks just like the new one. I took the two knuckles off. I'm gonna screw these on the new diverter. And this is the pipe that goes through here, the pipe for to fill up the tub. This is also gonna go on the new diverter. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, and then we're gonna screw this back in. We're going to put the Teflon tape around. I'm going to show you how to do that so you don't get any leaks. And then we're going to build this new diverter up and stick it back in here in the hole where it goes. And then we're going to put all the new shiny little handles and upgrades on this. And I'm going to show you what it looks like compared to the old one. Okay, so here's the piece. I took the Teflon tape and I wrapped these two pieces that the knuckles are going in. But I saved the center piece to wrap in front of y'all. So I just go around the thread here and just kinda try to keep it as flat. And I, I don't like put a lot, just a couple turns or just a couple turns, that's it. And then just rip it off. I'm gonna do the other side. Do the other side as well. Put a little Teflon tape on there. So just kind of, you know, take your time. You don't want to drop this and it rolls uh, through your bathroom and now you, it's kind of ruined after that. So there it is. And then we have the two ends done, right? So the small end goes inside the middle. You know, so just got to kind of match it up and find where it's at. Be, just be easy with it. And then we're just gonna tighten it up here. Oh, man. So, so it's gotta be the same way as
as these. You know, it's like a little battleship or something. It's gotta like, you know, it's gotta all shoot the same, same way. You know. Then the little knuckles, I wrap them up. So you're gonna just tight up the little knuckle here. Screw it in. And then, <clears throat> and then we're just gonna tight up this one. And I'm just using this, uh, I'm just using this adjustable to do it. So I don't really know what size it is, if it's an inch or whatever. I'm just using this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and tight this down, tight this down. This is already in, ready to go. I'm gonna slide it into the wall where it goes. And then I'm gonna show you all how I just tighten this piece up. And then we're gonna flip to the other side and we're gonna install the handles and the new neck piece and all the new shiny polished stuff on the other side. Make it look all nice and bougie. So now we have the two nuts in, the middle piece for the fill up the tub, and the top piece. We should be able to turn the water back on, but now we're gonna go ahead and install the front stuff, the uh, handles and all of that. All right, so first we're gonna put the ring on, and then we're gonna put this back on. Tighten it, hold it together, and tighten it up. It's kind of difficult with this wee little, this wee little piece under here. So it feels really tight right now. So let's see. Oh yeah, it's it's locked in. Okay. So now once it's locked in, you can see this will pull forward or pull back. However. Um, this one is too long, so I'm gonna put the original back on here so it just screws in. Because I have to get a smaller pipe to put the new one. I don't wanna scratch the new one up. So you would just put this on like this if it was pulled in. But when they're pulled out, when it's proper, and it's pulled out like this, there's gonna be a gap. So I have to get a new pipe for here. But this is how you would exactly um, install, you know, so, uh, you would just have to change that length of that pipe out or get a longer piece, one of these. So this, all right. It works. All right. Everything works. Now it doesn't drip anymore. Just whatever's in the pipe and then that's it. It just kept pouring out before, but that's how you put a new sink, um, diverter valve in, save yourself for money. I only paid, uh, I think $90. I got the handles, the, the, the round things on the back. I got the, this long piece, um, and the diverter, uh, a couple other little pieces of chrome. I got this piece, this piece, and this piece all for 90 bucks. You couldn't get a plumber to come to your house for less than a hundred bucks and the plumber didn't even fix anything yet. So give us a like, subscribe. I hope we saved you some money, build your confidence up a little bit. We're coming out with these every week, how to fix your house or do some DIY. We love you all. Peace out. So I'm going to go ahead and try to loose these nuts right here. 
if they come both off and the shark bite comes out, I'm gonna pull the whole unit out as one piece and disconnect the rest of it. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna... Okay. You find where it goes on. Okay, so now it's on. So it'll open and close. Then you have to find the hole underneath here. And you just have to, let me see. Alrighty tidy. You gotta go and then, then start tightening it up once it's on there. Oh, I didn't put the, that's a blooper.